In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Platinum 3776 Karakusa Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links to the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Platinum 3776 Karakusa Fountain Pen. This is a celluloid fountain pen, which is hand engraved and then filled with silver. It's a very pretty pen. This is definitely the nicest of the 3776s that I have. I believe these retail for $1,300. Street price is around 1000 Now, interestingly, they did Nakaya branded versions of these in, I think more, I've seen it more in their tortoise celluloid, but it's basically the exact same pen, same clip, just Nakaya branded ring and nib, but exact same pen as this. Now they also more recently, although not that recently, they did one that was, you know, a handmade ebonite pen with Arushi lacquer. And then again, they did that also in like a blue Arushi with silver and hand engraving. That pen engraving was more intricate than this, and that might be just down to the, the material ebonite versus celluloid. But this is really, really nice. I really enjoy this pen. It only comes in this blue celluloid, and it's kind of hard to see, but you can see there's some not marbling, but there's some white specks sort of in the the celluloid. It just kind of gives it a little bit of extra depth, but it does blend in maybe a little bit with the silver engraving. It's I, I love this pen. It's so pretty. If we do a walk through here, so the body is celluloid, and not including the, this pen, but the regular celluloid 3776s are a really good deal in my opinion. You know, celluloid fountain pens most of them are coming out of Italy these days, and they're turned from a solid block of celluloid, which is a more expensive, more difficult way to produce a pen, whereas these are sheets that are, are wrapped. Now, on this one, I can't find the seam. However, I have a calico one where the seam is much more apparent. So I, I think if you do the, the blue, not necessarily the engraved one like this, but the, the blue or the jade, or green color, you're not really going to see the seams, but at the other more heavy pattern colors, you will see the seams and you may not like that. So just be aware of that, but I do think that these are a really good deal, not necessarily the engraved one, but the standard plain ones for a celluloid pen. I don't think you can really do better than that if you want a celluloid pen. The, the prices are, are very reasonable for that. Now looking at the the design here, again, standard 3776 design. We have number 3776, then some scroll work, then it says platinum, scroll work, and Japan. And standard stepped clip here, which kind of tapers into the middle and then bulges kind of back out. Really nice looking, classic looking pen. I love the rhodium trim on this. It looks great with the, the silver engraving. One thing I will note that I do notice like little scratches and things on this pen, I think just from them working on it, you know, it's not perfectly polished, I would say. There are just little marks here and there. You don't notice it. You really have to look for them to try and find that. I also love that they engraved the grip section. You will notice the color has changed a little bit from just me holding it. It's a little bit darker here. I don't know if that's the silver changing color or the silver coming out of those engravings, but that is a difference. Rhodium plated nib. Now, I had this one in a double broad, but I, I had it sent to a nibmeister and made it into a formal italic, so it's been made pretty sharp, but I love these Fuji nibs. Really good looking nib, heart-shaped breather hole. So you can see this was a C because this was a coarse nib, which is like their double broad. Now, these take proprietary cartridge and converter. Uh, I don't remember if this came with a silver one or a gold one. I just happen to have a, a gold one in here, but it does come with a converter, uh, which you would hope for $1,300 you're getting a converter, but it's proprietary. It's... I actually like their cartridges a good amount, and actually their converter, I think, is probably the, one of the nicest converters, too. Now, in terms of differences between this and a standard 3776, there are some differences. This one has a music nib, but really the differences are in, in the body. Also, Platinum has been making changes to their cap band. Uh, this one does have a different cap band. But one thing that I've noticed about all of the celluloid ones, I have one that's older than this. They're smaller. So look, it's 
a little bit shorter. They're also skinnier. I can do some comparisons, but I have a Nakaya pen holder and all my 377.6s except for my celluloid ones fit in there. These are a little bit too skinny and they go, they don't really seat in there very well. So if you have one of those desk pen holders, go with the non-celluloid one because they are a little bit different. Now let's do some measurements here. We can kind of compare the, the length of both of these. In terms of the length, we're looking roughly 136, 137 capped. Now compared to this one, that's about 140, 141 capped. So a few millimeter difference. Then uncapped for the standard 3776, about 121, I would say, about 119. And then let's do the grip sections. So I'll do right above that metal ring there, 10.5, and then right before the long metal ring there, 10. Good size width for the grip section, for sure. Now let's check here, the edge there, 10, and 10.6. So roughly the same grip section, but the body is thinner, and that is what I think makes the, the issue with that Nakaya pen holder. They do post nicely. I'll just do a measurement of this one posted. Close to 150. Very comfortable pen. You know, you, it is heavier on, on the top, but I can write with this pen for quite a long time. It, it's really not so heavy. So let's check the, the weight here. This is a relatively full converter in it. 24 grams. That's really not that heavy. Just as a curiosity, we can check it against this. This doesn't have, I think this has a cartridge in it and almost empty cartridge. So they're nearly this, the same weight, uh, both really comfortable everyday writers. Uh, I don't think you can honestly go wrong with any 3776. For the writing simple, I'm gonna be using a paper mind Mitsubishi bank paper notebook. These notebooks are really excellent with fountain pens and for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you do get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Okie dokie. So this, is the Platinum 3776 Haru Karu Isawa? No. Sorry. Karakusa. And this is a uh, BB italic this is a custom nib and this is platinum brown out of a cartridge okay all right fast writing Very good performance, you know, Platinum Platinum 3776 nibs are really, really good. And, you know, this one was done by uh, Mike at work, Masayama, uh, to make it a, a course into a uh, formal italic, and it's really nice writer. It was a nice writer when it was a course nib, just really excellent. No point in doing reverse writing. If you push on it, I don't know, not really a big difference. but. Really love this pen. So what are my pros and cons for the Platinum Karakusa fountain pen? Well, the biggest pro is, is the looks. I mean, I absolutely love the looks of this pen. It is really a beautiful pen with the hand engraving and the silver filling against the blue celluloid uh, rhodium trim. It's just, I, I love the look of this pen. It is so nice. I also, you know, love the size and shape of this pen. It's very comfortable, it's not too heavy. You can write with this for a long time. Uh, it has a big, you know, beautiful rhodium plated nib with the, the Fuji design on there, the Mount Fuji design. It's really nice. I love that they engraved the grip section too. It, we didn't just get a plastic grip section. We have a celluloid one that's also hand engraved. It's just a, a gorgeous pen. In terms of cons, obviously the biggest con is gonna be the price. Street price, I think it's around 1,000. Retail's at 1,300 very expensive pen, but you do get that hand carved design, which it really makes this such a special pen in my opinion. The other con I would say is that this is a little bit smaller 
than the standard 3776. Now the grip section appears to be the exact same size. The nibs are interchangeable, so there's nothing really special going on there. It's just the body and the cap are a little bit thinner. And for me, when I put that in my Nakaya desk pen holder, it's too thin, whereas the regular 3776 is not. That's a pretty small gripe, but just overall, really like this pen. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And until next time.